gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't wanna sneeze on camera, but the sneeze won't come out. It's unpredictable, who knows when I'm gonna sneeze. And now it went away. I don't know, so you might hear my cat meowing in the background. I don't know what he wants. He's just been meowing. I gave him food, I gave him water. I opened the bathroom so he can use the bathroom. I've done everything I can think of. Come here. He's following me. I literally think he just wants attention. Come here. No. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Hello. Now it has been, let me tell you, the last time I recorded an episode of this series these series that I like to do. You know how in England they call, um, here I think for a TV show they'll say season, like season one, season two. There they'll do series one, series two. Uh, though I don't mean it that way. <laughs> Could you, do, do people make Let's Plays with seasons? Not the seasons expansion pack, but like seasons. Like season one, episode five of my get to work let's play or something that'd be interesting i guess kind of with the houses people will do this houses where they have like a household like a family what are those called there's like a family and there's like 15 generations of that same family that they always use anyway the last time i recorded a video in this series of videos is i think december 2021 and today it is March 25th, 2022. You know why? Because I've been quite busy doing things and just editing. I, I'm always pretty much on a backlog. Like when a new episode of this comes out, it's probably something that I filmed months and months ago and I'm just now getting around to editing because I, I don't always have a lot of time. I've got a lot of stuff going. Again, I don't do this professionally. It's simply a side hobby of mine for fun because I really... I really like to play games. I wish I could play games and actually more so I wish I could make games professionally, but that's not gonna happen, girl, because God has nerfed me and, <laughs> and made me not good at uh, functioning well in my daily life. I have too many health problems and other things going on to function properly, so I am chronically less productive than I should be, but anyway. My main point was I've been very preoccupied the past few months and it's been literally like months, months and months since I filmed this, so I do not remember what is going on. I'm pretty sure that child was born, right? Yes, there he is, little scoundrel. The, what did I name it? The, the, the silliest, oh, the silliest, the second. Von Algrove, yes, of course. I also, because I I haven't been recording this, but I have been building some. I've been building community lots and stuff. I did get the restaurants expansion pack. So whatever we do today, I do want us to go to some of the restaurants that I've built just to see how they work. Cause I actually, I have not played with restaurants. I built some restaurants, but I do not know how they work. I have not actually in live mode played you know, a sim visiting a restaurant or tried to manage a restaurant. I don't know how that works at all. Because also during these few months, I did a sculpture commission and it was a pretty big project, like full body sculpture type of thing. So I got a decent amount of currency in exchange for it. Not not, not like $300 or something, <laughs> a, a middle decent amount. And I decided, you know, it, why why shouldn't i i looked at um video overviews of all the different sims ex i was thinking i will buy a sims expansion pack to make my game more interesting but i didn't know which one i was going to get and i looked at them i feel like i have all the ones i really care about already cottage living is good vampires is good seasons is like essential the pets is essential other than that, there's nothing that's really like pivotal to gameplay. But you know, I thought I do really love building public lots. If you haven't noticed from <laughs> from when we've gone places, you'll see, you know, I have the whole downtown built. I have these nightclubs built. I have pubs built. I have uh, that freaking nail salon. I have gyms, swimming pools. I like to build public lots. So I was thinking, you know, it'd be interesting is building restaurants. So that's the one that I decided on. Oh, I, I cleaned out the world a little bit. I took um, some of the townies 
out of the folder. You know how you can look at the folder of all the people that live in your town. And I deleted a lot of them, so hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. But there were getting to be like so many. That should be all the changes though. Oh, look at the day. Oh yeah, it's like fall, isn't it? Look at the day. Look at the beautiful color of the trees. We have not experienced winter in seasons yet. I'll be really excited about that because winter is my favorite season. If we can ever make it to winter. I know it takes forever to play through because I'm a very micromanaging, detail-oriented type person who doesn't just let Sims do whatever they want. That's a beautiful view, isn't it? Isn't that... Where's the ducks? I wish the ducks would show up in this view. That would be even more beautiful. -er. I think that's pretty much it in terms of stuff that's changed. They're like a crop fair or anything like that. Hey, nothing, nothing, nothing. Harvest fest. Llama fair. Is there anything else? Llama and wool. Co Have we won the wool competition? I thought new skill day. Oh my God, that's their birthday? I am not taking care of a baby that freaking long. Let's bake a cake on Tuesday and raise the baby to a toddler, at least. I'll take care of a toddler for a while. I'm not taking care of a stupid baby for <laughs> I don't know. I do have the life stages set to the longest one because I like to, that's how I like to play. I like things, I know some people like more like chaotic, fast paced gameplay where they're just like, let's just let the Sims do whatever and see what happens or something like that. But I'm very like, I want the Sims to live forever. I want to micromanage every aspect of their existence. I want to carefully craft my entire experience together. You've done all, oh, we've done all of these, wow. Oh my gosh, we just have to- this is gonna take forever, we have to survive 20 days. I always want to get their cooking skill up, so that's something we can always be working on. Also, they should write another book. They haven't written a book in a while, because we've been focusing so much on persimmon. Persimmon, you should up your fishing and... Where's the other skill? What is it called? Handiness. Fishing and handiness, we're always trying to get up for him. Don't really have any skills we're trying to raise for her. We do have to continue to tend the garden and everything, though. It, McKenna's just chilling out until she can move away. I do have her house built already. I don't know if I had it built last time or if I just talked about building it. Because, again, it was months ago. But I have it built. It's fully completed. I just have to move her in. I also have one of her relatives in there. I made her a cousin and a cat. So when she moves in, she'll be living with her cousin and her cousin's cat. But it's her house. She's not moving in with her cousin. The The story will be that it's her house. She's, like, letting her husband, her, her husband, her cousin live there. Baby can't do anything yet because it's just an object. We still do need to, at some point, find Anrea a girlfriend. But I think we're going to focus on raising the kid right now. Anrea is not really in a place where she would settle down quite yet. She wants to have her farm and her cafe and everything more established. At some point, we got to find an excuse to go out to a restaurant or multiple restaurants. Maybe hey then, I suppose I will start after this extreme... It, of course it's a long intro. I haven't been here in months. Ah, I mean, come on. <laughs> we got to catch up. Catch up. I forgot that I... Oh my gosh, look. I forgot that I did this. Look. Oh yeah, the needs. I got to check the needs. I got to... I forgot about that. I checked everybody's skills and stuff, but not need a scatter feed nearby. It's 5.52 a.m. I always think the morning is like the late afternoon. How about you write a book? Resume. Oh, I forgot that uh, you were even writing a book already. Oh, it's a different season too. Oh no, that means we won't have any birds of paradise. Looks like a lot of these can be evolved. Look at this, little flowers. Are there usually flowers on this tree? You're just having fun. You are writing while the cat meows at you. You chatting with the cat? What's that desktop background, like the beach? Oh, Lyra's finished the book. More feed, more feed, more feed, more feed. Just these chickens eat like crazy. Look at them, look at all of them. Look at all of them. There's so many chickens. Should we sell some of the chickens? It's like, <laughs> I've kind of been not like ignoring it, but I don't really go and organize the chickens. Literally just... Chickens exist, they hatch the egg, they make the eggs, I hatch the eggs, and then I keep them all in the same place. Like, I wonder if, if maybe we should be, not, not necessarily culling the chickens, but you know, like, there's a lot of them. 
What, what, what? The kidna starts work. Really? Go to work then. No time to spend with your child. You have to go to work and fuel the capitalist machine. Maybe. Oh, oh, look at that little leaf in the air. Look at that. Look, this, this right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that beautiful little leaf in the air. Wow, look at them. They're really shiny, though. Do you see how shiny they are? Like, the coat is very shiny. It's like very Dragon Age Inquisition. About <laughs> the texture of everything is super shiny. Right, now that's out in the world, should we level up the kid now? I guess we should wait till McKenna is home from work, but then... Also, I called it leveling up. You're not really leveling up the kid, you are... <laughs> You were aging them up. We should make some food. We might have new food because I have the restaurant's expansion pack. I don't see any new recipes yet. Or maybe do you have to eat them? Do we have to like go out to a restaurant and try foods in order to learn the recipe for them or something? Too bad we don't have that, um, that new uh, wedding expansion pack thing that came out. I have heard it's very, very glitchy and not super good, but I think you can make like tiered cakes. Maybe you can make tiered cakes anyway if you have a high enough cooking skill, but it would be good to have, because it's a royal baby, it would be good to have like a fancy like four layer super decorated elaborate cake for the child's birthday. We can make a winter cake. That kind of looks fancy. Like if I'm thinking about like what would elven royalty have, I guess this looks more like what they might have, but that is not the point. I'm not here to make the birthday cake yet. I really want to make a crown roast. Maybe we should do a grocery order. Order delivery. The menus, the menus are still messed up. Let's see. What do we need? We need wrapped red meat. Probably need some sugar. Just some basic stuff. Hello delivery man. I forget how this works, but I guess we'll... We have not bought groceries in a while. I wish you could check on the status of the animals while they're in the thing before they even come out. Cat on the table. Boy! Oh, look how mischievous he looks. We'll send delivery sim. Oh, I wonder if the delivery person will be... So here's what I did, actually. When I deleted a lot of the, um... What, what you gonna call it? I deleted a lot of the townie sims and replaced it with some of my own sims. So in hopes that my own sims would become the townie sims. I think what I was doing wrong before is I would put them in a house. So like I would make a group of sims that I wanted to populate the world and then I would put them down on a property. But I think actually the sims that they use as like random townies are the ones that are unassigned to lots. Like they're not actually assigned to a house. So because of that, I have now, I took some of the sims I had made out of houses. I evicted them from their homes and now they're just kind of in the general folder. And then I also deleted a bunch of townies. So maybe the person who the person who who decides to be Oh my god, am I okay? I think I'm fine. The person who is the delivery sim, maybe. Maybe will be one of the sims that I have made. Windy I love the windiness. Oh, we have a little uh Don't we have a chicken? thing what are those called i just call them chicken things a weather vane i wonder if god forbid the sims 4 put in that level of detail now the sims 2 <clears throat> super detailed i bet if they had weather vanes in the sims 2 they moved with the wind I do not know if they would do it in this game check bee box did you collect the honey collect the honey it does say the bees are enraged but why don't you try it <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. And hopefully the uh, delivery person will be here at some point. Oh, there he is. Here's who's doing the delivery. Cerise. Cerise the fox. Why are you talking? You don't even like each other. What are you doing? Why don't you fight? I thought you had to go to work soon or something, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get dressed in your terrible, crappy, horrific outfit. So this is kind of like the wizard, the witch, and the wardrobe. It's the orb, the wizard, and the bloodbath. And the premise is evil wizard Venturficus Skranks is suddenly disrupted from his routine, sent to track down fellow serial killer Glintus von Longedalian. So basically it's like uh, they're both wizards and they're both serial killers and they're kind of rivals and they're both trying to catch each other at the same time because they're both serial killers that kill other serial killers. <laughs> so like a fantasy wizard crime drama. Neither of them know 
each other's identities either. They're both trying to track each other down at the same time and neither one actually knows they're trying to track the other one down. And there's lots of confusing, it's like a wild goose chase. It's also funny, also lots of people die. The exact type of thing that Lyris would write, so. All going to work, you are really upset. She gets so upset over like nothing. I'm not saying you wouldn't be upset if you got stung by bees, but it seems like the whole mood, like how sims have moods, it seems like sometimes the moods are like an overreaction. Like they got stung by bees, so now they're going to be wildly uncomfortable and all their needs are going to be low and they're going to be in the red for like three hours. And Clean coop, okay. What? What are you here for? One of the chickens? Who is that? Not Minty Fresh! No one was around. What do you mean no one was around? We're like right here. I didn't see anyone at the door. What? Oh, this? Oh, you knocked on this door? Is this one of the sims I made? Yeah, it is! Terramund Marsil! Awesome. I have crafted all new townies. Say hello to my little friend. Why don't you freaking unload the delivery bag, you bing bong. Look at this. Look at this. They already ate all this feed. Did you see how many times I scattered feed? They ate all of it, except for some around here. Bye, my baby son, Minty Fresh. No. Let's see. What's the most popular book? Screaming Summer Sun, $385. Wow. Iris is like supporting this household. Well, I mean, Umbrea is like selling Birds of Paradise for like $300 a piece, so. <laughs> Both of them, but Persimmon's doing nothing. Useless, useless boy. Why do you have to get every bit of trash on the property? I'm gonna go and say. Here's our cat boy. A uh, postal service worker. When I was clearing out all of the townies, I did see him and I thought he was the post office guy and so I left him in there. I did not delete him because I was like, isn't that the post office cat boy? You, what's your progress with unloading the groceries? Today's mail has been delivered. Andrea put groceries in the fridge. Oh no, lasagna! Oh no, we owe money. Andrea is gonna pay the bills. Lyris is gonna get the mail because I think Lyris might have the Sims loot box. No, her needs are like fine. Oh yeah, she has a computer in her room, but she doesn't like computers, right? What does she want to do? She likes to garden. She likes plants. She likes animals. What is this thing? It's like turning yellow. We got stuff turning yellow out here. We can make a flower arrangement. Chrysanthemum. We do have some chrysanthemums. Oh yeah! Sims loop what? Space? Space themed loot box. Open it. What's in it? Oh. Crystals. A space novel. Little poster up and, you know, put this, I don't know, this right here on the back of the stove for no reason. I'm gonna go to a restaurant tonight. It's only 10.31 in the morning. I thought I'd been playing for a long time. Now we can make food. Make that meat crown or whatever the hell that was called. Crown roast. That's another thing about my detail orientedness. Is I'm very interested in just watching Sims do things. I like to watch the Sims TV. And I like to watch them cook and like eat and just do stuff. Which might be boring to some people. To just zoom in and watch people do stuff. But I think it's fun. I think it's fun, fresh, flirty, and fierce. You gotta go upstairs and do something. Tend to the baby. Whatever's wrong with it. Change dirty diaper. Bounce. Make silly face. Uh, bottle feed. I don't know. Whatever needs to be done with a child, you should do it. Ah, no, I want to see Lyris. Lyris! Crown roast. Whoa, look at that. Putting pepper. Apple pie. Did they just say nom nom? What's the bad... Oh, freaking uncomfortable use. <laughs> <laughs> they said bimbo beans. Ooh, look at that. What does that even look like? What is that? It's like a rack of lamb or something, like, put in a circle. 
with some stuff in the middle. Should give some attention to the cat every once in a while. The baby's asleep. But it was just crying. Persimmon! You better not. You better not, Reed. Tend to your bait. I don't think he even got to the baby yet. We don't even bake a cake. We just age it up. That stinks. <gasps> Negative interaction. Stop talking! You don't like each other! Eat that skrink. Why don't you just make a few cakes? You wait till McKenna gets home. Make a cake for no reason. Well, we're already making the cake. Some of us eat a piece of cake. We age the child up. And then people go out to restaurants. Maybe the whole group. Well, then we're gonna have a toddler. Somebody's gonna stay at home and take care of a freaking toddler. Where are the animals? Are they just gonna sit in their shed all day? Where are you going? Why does it say you're not home? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Why are you in your bathing suit? What is going on? Oh, you decided you're gonna go swimming over here with D'Angelo Payne in a wizard hat? What the hell? Uh, no. I don't think that's going to happen, actually, Persimmon. I don't understand. Why don't you call these freaking animals out? Wait, look, they ate all the stuff! There's one thing of food left. Call out the animals so we can actually see what the hell they look like. See, look how dirty they are. Oh, and they're starving. Why are they starving? What the farts? It says feed level full. What's wrong with my game? Oh my god. Hell yeah. I love to clean llamas this way. There's one thing that I've noticed is the longer you play a household, the more glitchy it gets. I'm just gonna boost this just a little bit so you don't- so you stop being a bench about everything. Oh, you're cooking outside already. Where's the cake you made? Wow! Look at that. That's like an elf cake. Oh, resume your medium hoop rabbit, dude. Dude, resume your medium hoop rabbit. Come on. Being cold. Well, yeah, why are you in your freaking bathing suit? Yeah, I don't know why you decided to get in your bathing suit. That's something that you decided to do. Where is the llama? Can't tell if the llama is clean or not because I can't see the llama. It's invisible. Feed them, I guess, because they're starving, apparently. You're not gonna go make stuff at the bar. Why is that all you want to do now? Did you ever reread? You finished this? You should finish that. You should go ahead. I mean, you got that far in the skill. You might as well max it out, you know? What? Hold on, that chicken is a dining table? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Did you see that? When I hover over this chicken, it says it's a dining table. Are all the chicks dining tables? That chick is a dining table too. Some of these chickens have dining table disease. What is going on? Yeah, this is the dining table. This is where the dining table is. It's not over there, guys. Might be not be able to continue the let's play because the whole thing is gonna disintegrate with a cascading number of glitches. Let's look in this bloated fridge. Oh my god, we have five hatchable eggs. Dude. We're having way too many hatchable eggs. Like, But what I really want to try is crown roast. Then you can take a shawi. Maybe Lyris will go out to a restaurant. They should all- so I built three different restaurants. I think they should each go to a different restaurant. Talking to the cat. <laughs> and painting. What are you painting? We're gonna get a new painting. Remember how I mentioned that I want to see all the different paintings in the game? There's the baby. There goes the baby. Look at the baby as he goes down the stairs. There's the baby. There goes the baby. Look at the baby as he goes down the stairs. He looks like a cotton ball. Oh no! Lyris has learned the ultimate vampire cure! Lyris does not care about curing anyone. How are you hanging out? Beautiful crowd. <laughs> Lyris is like, alright, bye. Oh, did you actually want to talk to me? I'm sorry. Oh, we have maxed it! Okay, well we don't need to reread it then. Let's just put it in the bookshelf, I suppose. Why are you going to- you gonna make a tang and zing again? Oh no, they're gonna make a sweet and spicy. Finish writing. Finish writing your serial killer wizard drama. Who is that over here? Jemina Benavides. Yeah, some, some of these strangers I did leave. I did not delete all of them. What is this? Fruit and yogurt parfait. Somebody was having a parfait out here. We should walk around the world more. I do like walking around the world. 
We're, we've just been in our house. It's because we have so many plants now. It's like hard to leave. Because if you leave for too long, you come back and all your plants are dying. It's like we have so much to take care of. And I mean, the, now that we have the seasons, which means some plants go dormant for periods of time, I guess it's a little bit better, but we still have the really needy chickens and these crazy glitchy llama and cow. And <laughs> like, I don't know how that would be tended to if we were gone for a long time. We would come back and everything would be dying. I wish real birds could visit this. Whenever my kid gets back, we'll do a birthday party for the kids and then we're gonna go out to restaurants. How are you? How are your needs? Out today, fine. And we do need to go to town and sell stuff, but we are not gonna do that today. What are you doing? That cat's going crazy. Are you okay? Baby! The door is locked, you're right. No, baby doesn't like computer. You home? Hello, Farticus. Please change your clothes. Nobody wants to see you in this weird sweater thing. What outfit are you going to wear for your baby birthday? The persimmon's going to miss the birthday because he's in the shower. <laughs> I still stand by the fact that it works a little bit. It, the, the colors, they all go together. I mean, in a way, you know, you can see it. It's possible. Let's go age up your baby and then you can eat a slice of cake. Why don't you age up? What type of toddler should we have? Well, not clingy, I know that. Angelic, easy, easy going. That's usually what I choose for toddlers because I just really don't want to, I don't want to deal with them. Independent. These toddlers love freedom. They don't like to take orders. They like to be left alone. They need less attention. Yeah, I usually do independent or angelic just because I really don't like that you can't really do anything with toddlers. Let's do independent. What does the baby look like? So when should McKenna move out? It's done. It's an abstract painting. Well, I haven't seen that one before, so I'm not sure. Maybe like let, maybe stay in the household a few more days, let the toddleriness sink in, and then she's out of the picture into her beautiful, beautiful home that I've made for her. We sent everyone home. Where are their top, where are their people on the lot? Who's here? Send whom home, toddler? What does the toddler know that we don't know? Okay, let's... Is there a wardrobe somewhere? Angry about fucking what? Oh my god. No, other sims will need to help the stinking freaking ding-dong idiot bing-bong toddler. Get over there! I hate toddlers. In this game, I don't like the way they... There's so much trouble. It's just so much to take care of which i guess is true to real life it is children are hard to take care of in real life i'm led to believe but come on it's just a sims game yeah what's the ears look like what they should be pointy it's like half elf i wish we had this length but like with this hair texture now what's the hair persimmon has like this color hair and mckenna has like dark hair is there like a darker brown than this like, you know, like, not completely blue-black, but like a darker brown. Okay, a freckled child. Oh, this! This is so cool! I didn't even know they had that. Like, unironically, I would wear something like this in daily life. That's my type of style. What would a royal child wear? Probably something like this. Oh, a little backpack! Oh! I love that. That is so awesome. No, I want the frog backpack. Or is there a cat backpack? Cow backpack? Gender does not matter. They are freaking toddlers. Those kind of match. There's the light green, the light green, the white, and then the red. I really love the colors of this. But Persimmon would not dress his child in pastels. Is that cloud shoes? I love toddler clothes. Like, I want to wear toddler clothes. They should have more toddler clothes that are people- that are me-sized. I hate that everybody thinks grown-ups can't wear stuff like that. They absolutely can if they're not cowards. So some of these outfits McKenna chose. Some of these outfits <laughs> Persimmon chose. Okay, so here's the outfits. We have the main outfit, which Persimmon and McKenna chose together. I have this outfit, which Persimmon chose. I have this outfit, which McKenna chose. 
because it's like creative and bright. And this outfit that McKenna chose because it's creative and bright. And then the swimwear they both kind of agreed on is kind of neutral. This outfit McKenna chose. And this outfit Persimmon chose. Hold that beautiful baby son. Now wait, is there any other appearance change? Can I change the eyebrows? Oh, cute. I think we can make him look a little angry. I kind of want him to be evil. That's what I'm thinking so far. Because <laughs> I think it would be interesting if- So the whole reason that Persimmon had a kid is he's like, I want an heir to the throne. I want to not have to be involved with my family. I want to shrug off my responsibilities on a child instead and have them be the person who does all the family stuff. But then what if the child turns out extremely unfit to rule? You know what? Persimmon would do, a, do it anyway. He would see that the child is unfit to rule and just be like, you know what? Not my problem. <laughs> I did what I came here to do. I produced the child. I don't really care how the child turns out. Like I'm thinking of maybe having the child max the mischief skill once they're actually child aged and having them fail school <laughs> and stuff like that. Maybe they do really well at school. I don't know if I want them to be an evil underachiever or like an evil maniacal genius. Oh, these are plat like wedges. I didn't even see that. You know what? I like this outfit. I don't care what anyone says. I what? When did you sit down there? Why did everything change around? You're outside doing plants? Like I went into the menu to change clothes and now everything is like totally flarkled. You do not like each other! Where is the freaking menu? Negative 30. Stop trying to talk. Seriously. Stop it. Stop it for real. Or maybe, can we just lay stuff on the ground? Will the kid, can the kid like come up and take a slice? I don't know how that works. Yes, the child could do it themselves. I don't even have to micromanage them. Look at the little backpack. He does look a bit evil. Did you just throw it on the ground? Where's he going to eat? Oh, on his teddy bear chair. There you go. McKenna, what are you doing? Eating cake. Oh yeah, you're eating cake for the birthday. For eating cake for the birthday party. She just like autonomously did that. Why don't you teach your child how to stack blocks or something? I don't know. Whatever a parent might do. Lyris, hurry up and get done with your painting. As soon as you get done with your painting, we have to go out to a restaurant like- <laughs> You made your child upset, McKenna. What are you angry about? All right, then do your own stuff. I mean, they kind of match a little bit for the dark colors and everything. Do whatever you want, bing bong. I don't give a crap if you learn shapes. I don't give a crap if you learn nothing. You can go into your adulthood with zero skills. And... All right, yay, painting finished. Weird painting. Now we're going to go somewhere. Oh, it should be a date. We always make it a date, huh? Simda dating app. Which restaurant should we go to? I'm not sure. Now, do they have different open times? Who? I know this is a sim that I made, but I forget their name. There's like a huge airplane going by outside. Oh, and here's a place. This is not a restaurant. I made a... <laughs> I made a Dunkin' Donuts. I made a Sims version of Dunkin' Donuts in Hidford on Bagley. Because I really wanted them to be able to go to Dunkin' Donuts. That place that um, Persimmon and McKenna went one time the luxury seaside, I did actually turn that into a complete restaurant because it was a bar because I couldn't make restaurants, but now I can make restaurants. And then here we have Lola's Sunshine Diner, which is like a home, kind of like an IHOP sort of place. We have Crunkle's Chunk Empor <laughs> Emporium and uh, Future Modern, which is like a fancy weird place. I don't know. I kind of want to go to both. I do want to see what Crunkle's Trunk Emporium is like because it's really crazy looking. I feel like if Lyris was going to choose a place, Lyris would go to Futumodil because they would want to learn new recipes and like look at all the interesting food. Now I don't know how restaurants work. I built these places. I have never actually been into one. Like I've never played with them. So I don't know if I built it right. It could be that, you know, like the way that I placed things, people are unable to order or the kitchen is in a weird place or, you know, I have no idea if it will actually work. That's what I'm curious to see. It's not nighttime yet. Yeah, see, this is what all the 
all of these chefs and waiters look like uh, robots. They have robot hats on. Stefarim Sartoro. Stefarim? What is this? This is so messed up. Look at this. Look at this. This clock is like ticking down continuously. What happened in my menus? Hello? Can I interact with any of these things? How do I like order? I don't want to cook with anyone. Is this place open or is it like closed? There are people getting in pools. Claim a table. Well, how do we claim a table? I don't know how this works, man. I got it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some emergency nutrient supplement drink. <gasps> Formalware! Look at them. I didn't even realize they were in this. 